continue working on getting the video. Yes, you sent. Yes, the, the links are not helpful. Um, okay, I have I have a video that's actually a video this time and not loudness. Okay, of uh, Doom. let's go over to that. I just need to figure out. There it is. Cooking from scratch. Start screen share. Unmute myself. Coming up next on Sunnyvale Public Television, Cooking from Scratch with Carl Sagan. Hello, and welcome to this week's show. Today, we'll be making apple pie. Let's prepare our ingredients. We will require one universe. Make sure you get a nice, well-aged one. This universe has been aging for about 14... ...properly aged your universe should contain billions of galaxies. And each of these galaxies should contain billions of stars. Look for a small yellow star with a tiny blue planet orbiting it. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Now, this planet should contain a species which has evolved to the point where it practices agriculture this is where we will acquire the apples, flour, cinnamon, sugar, butter, and shortening for our pie. Mix these ingredients together and bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. It's just that simple. Here's one I prepared earlier. Coming up next on Sunnyvale Public Television, Cooking from Scratch with Carl Sagan. And it looks like that's all the time we have for this week. Tune in next time when we'll be making chipotle roast turkey with star stuffing. Goodbye. And cut. That was great, Carl. Another awesome show. I don't know, Sheila. The, the pie came out a bit crumbly. Maybe we could do another take. Sure, sure, fine. We'll reset and try again. Gary! Run out and get a fresh universe, and try to get a less crumbly one this time, okay? Everybody else, take five. Uh, and have some pie? It always comes out crumbly. Maybe we need less shortening. Or is it more shortening? I never remember. Hmm... the voice of George Robb there and uh, that was just a blast to get to. Uh, Fraser and I were also involved in that episode. No astronomy was harmed. I will mute this and download another one real fast. Um, Hi Steve! Hi! Welcome! This is Steve DeGroof, uh, part of the Death by Puppets team. So welcome to the hangout-a-thon of, of, of there's some death, I'm sure, some brain cells dying here. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me ahead. Everybody else is having mic trouble. Everybody else is having, oh, but everybody else is in the green room at the moment. Right. But they're having mic trouble. Okay, so we will, we will, they will send along as, as they get started. Um, so Steve, why don't you give us a little bit of background about yourself and uh, how you came to sharing science with puppets, <laughs> of all things. It's all Maria's fault, really. Um, <laughs> Rebecca! Oh, there's Rebecca. Hello. Hey, Rebecca. How's it going, you guys? Good morning. Look at you. Look at you on your <laughs> futon. <laughs> <laughs> the, the official 
astronomical futon. It is. You look, you look very cuddly. I'm actually, <laughs> even though I know you've been up for the past 24 hours or whatever, I'm a little jealous of you right now because I would much rather be in bed. <laughs> <laughs> But my partner would get angry if I actually live cast from bed, so... Aww. Well, thank you for joining us. (laughs) No, it's my pleasure. I'm very excited to be here. Cool. Uh, And I didn't realize I was going to be on with puppets. Are there puppets happening? Yes, there's there's Death by Puppets happening as well. Steve was just uh, telling us what... How, what got him into into sharing science with puppets? So. Ah, I, I sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I, I just blamed it on Maria. Oh, okay. It, it was yeah, Maria's yeah, fault. yeah. As far as it got, I, I, I can play so. a PSA on gravity while we're waiting for Maria. If people are interested. Sure, let's do that one. I, I have to admit, I'm doing this in part because I'm loving the fact that Joe hasn't seen any of these before, and ah. his reactions are kind of awesome. Yeah, I came oh, in I just at the rainbow. tail end of the cooking show there. What have you done? Ah, there really, we go. Really rainbow of doom. The angry sparrows in the background. I don't think we should be teaching gravity in schools. People say it's a law, but it's really just a theory. I mean, birds fly in airplanes. What, do they just turn off gravity whenever they feel like it? And what about Superman? He can fly too. And you know that's the truth because he never lies. He said so, and you can trust him because he never lies. Because, um... Please support science education. Please? It's really important, because holy crap! <laughs> that, that tells nicely off of our How to Deal with Crank segment we had a little <laughs> while ago. <laughs> it's just oh a theory. <laughs> and I think we've been joined... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, no. that is a that is an Andy Warhol alien puppet. Yes, that is what is that? An Andy Warhol alien puppet. Andy Warhol <laughs> alien puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I I at one point asked Charles to create an Andy Warhol alien puppet for a specific <laughs> script that we haven't actually filmed yet. And, and now we have Carl Sagan and Maria. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay, so so from left to right down at the bottom, we have uh, Carl Sagan Puppet, <laughs> who is uh, joined by human Charles Pillsbury. We have Maria Walters uh, of Death by Puppets. Uh, there's us. There's a blank screen that yep. shows video. Uh, Rebecca Watson from Skeptic, who has uh, looks like she's ready for some astronomical themed breakfast. Oh yeah, yeah. For yeah. us, and then Steve DeGroof, also from Death by Puppets. So, um, where do you guys want to start? I want to start with watching the pancakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we can. I do want pancakes. Pancake I hope yeah. you made enough for everyone. <laughs> well, I haven't made any yet, so, and it's, uh, it is very early in the morning, so if I don't scald myself or the pancakes, then hopefully this will turn out all right. Uh, so yeah, I, um, I was trying to find some astronomy-themed breakfasts, um, but Pinterest failed me. Like, <laughs> when I searched for astronomy pancakes, I just got up a lot of news items about how planetary systems tend to pancake, um, (laughs) and no actual pancakes. (laughs) So so I decided that I would make my own um, solar system pancakes, uh, because I figured if planetary systems pancake, then it's astronomical enough just to make a pancake that looks like a planetary system, right? It, it'll probably look better than the, the, the planet cake Oh my pops. gosh. <laughs> I had failed. Oh, uh, did those not did those not turn out? They were tasty. They tasted good. They looked 
Like blobs. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, but isn't that what a planet is anyway? It's just Mine were blobs. not in hydrostatic equilibrium. <laughs> I see. So they were just an out and out failure. Yes. <laughs> they, were, they were asteroid cake pops. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and if you ask me, asteroids are better than planets because I have one named after me. So. That's right. <laughs> I did not have an asteroid. So so I I have to admit to a moment of of total I am fail. I was at a nerd gathering and all around me there's Rebecca, there's Phil, there's Fraser and they're comparing asteroids. <laughs> And I do not have an asteroid named after me, and, and I did not feel like I was a cool kid anymore. Clearly, Rebecca, you are far cooler than I am. Well, let me reassure you, Pamela. Uh, there's nothing cool about being at a party and spending your time comparing asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, by any definition of cool, that qualifies. <laughs> so... Yeah, never, never worry about being at a party with Phil Plate and being the uncool one. <laughs> Sorry. You can, you can tell him I said that. <laughs> uh, oh, we've so, picked on him plenty. I've never done a live cooking demonstration before, but I suppose I should explain what I'm doing. Um, I'm using a, a very uh, like a professional baker's technique of buying a box of Bisquick, <laughs> reading the ingredients as you're live cooking. <laughs> so we're not hoping. <laughs> hoping. Oh, we lost Carl. <laughs> Did he can do either audio or video right now? Oh, okay. you know, either we may have lost Carl or Charles's arm may have given out. Is this, is this a big problem with the puppets? It tends to oh, be, yes. Someone new oh. has joined us. Who is this? It's, <laughs> Who is oh, that? That's Alien Andy Warhol. Oh, oh yes. one of our visitors, yes. Alien. Does this <laughs> why... Put a comment on YouTube. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you, you know what, YouTube? Steve, can you explain no what idea. this is that this per person has, has joined? <laughs> I would like uh, I would like that person to maybe tell us because I'm pretty sure we don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody knows what's happening right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> the alien bump is creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I'm gonna try and explain what this is. Adult here. <laughs> the, <laughs> this is uh, the breakfast hour on the Cosmo Quest 24 hour uh, hangoutathon to raise money for science engagement. Um, with us now are the uh, brain children behind Death by Puppets, which is a group on YouTube that does these awesome science and skeptical, critical, reasoning-themed YouTube videos, as there. well as Rebecca Watson from Skeptic. Uh, Rebecca is working to make us, which we can't eat later, um, space pancakes. This came out of a conversation where she said on a whim, well, I'll just come on and make astronomy-themed pancakes. And she was joking, not realizing my favorite food is breakfast food. <laughs> and I would jump at this occasion, even though I can't eat the pancakes she's making. Yeah, it's, it's my understanding that other people came on here and actually talked about intelligent things, <clears throat> but, but I was not uh, confident in my ability to do that at yeah. 7 in the morning. <laughs> So you uh, definitely made the right call and the right group to do that with, I will say. <laughs> yeah, and also so this would be a good fit. Should I show another Death by Puppets video? Did sure. you get our um our our endorsement videos? What was that, you. Steve? Did you get our endorsement videos? Endorsement yes, video. we we did okay. play that one earlier. I can play oh, that okay. one again. Hooray. One, one Hooray. I didn't see the other ones. I just saw the ones we I did. Because Charles did one too, right? Charles did two. Yay! We managed to lose video files that I put on the drive that somehow disappeared, so. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Okay. Yes, we so we, we do have an endorsement from Puppet point, Carl Sagan eight, somewhere eight, in there. Ooh, I want to see the Carl Sagan Ooh. endorsement. No, you're not. Apparently, I'm not now. <laughs> um, Something broke. 
If, okay. If you want, I can continue making pancakes in a very uh, entertaining way. <laughs> yes. And if you're watching, can you send up these video files in a format we can play on a thumb drive or something? <laughs> they all disappeared. <laughs> oh, that was not oh. but, um, uh, So, so I'll, uh, I'm just going to, look, I should also mention that not only is it very early in the morning, but I also just got back from a run, and I'm really hungry, so nothing is stopping me from making these pancakes right now. <laughs> That, that's okay. We're going to play our note of approval from an Apollo rocket. I'm Apollo, and I approve this science. <laughs> it's just a little on his head. I just noticed that. I, I don't think I can stop playing that. So we also have... I would just like to echo the YouTuber from earlier and say, what is happening? <laughs> we don't what know. Is this? What is this? What is happening? Uh, yeah, so Apollo is one of our, uh, actually I don't think we've even released any Apollo videos yet. The next one's coming out next month, and, uh, and he, he does a segment called Rocket News, um, which tends to be a little biased towards rockets, because he's a rocket. We're, we're good with being biased towards rockets, really we are. <laughs> Let's see spaceships. Oh, yay. So I went outside, you know, to look for my cat, and I saw this light zipping across the sky. And, and I went and got Billy, because he, he knows stuff. And I said to Billy, I said, what the heck is that? And Billy, he said, you know, you know he, said, he said, it's a spaceship with people in it and robots. Damn. The International Space Station scaring the crap out of people since 1998. One hundred billion dollars and worth every penny. <laughs> I think now you know who's doing those voiceovers. That's Maria Walters and the little lovely voiceovers there. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really glad that I double checked the schedule last night to make sure I was going to be up in time and I noticed for the first time that I was going to be on with the puppets, because if I hadn't realized that, I would be terrified right now that I was tripping or just <laughs> still asleep or something and just unable to function. I think we need more pancake making. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I turned oh. on Andy the... Warhol, alien Andy Warhol appears to be demanding. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a, a technique called turning the stove on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm using a cast iron pan, which I think is necessary because you don't really ever have to clean them. You just you just you just dump out the crumbs from the last thing, and then it adds uh, flavor. Yeah. Uh, Arm so. is dead. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Hi, <laughs> All we got was arm is dead. What is happening? I don't... <laughs> this is not Sparta. This is Cosmo Quest. No, it's a comment from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? What has become of my life? <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> we'll uh, do anything for science. We'll <laughs> hand I... and puppets and throwing thumb drives across the world. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Tim's gonna go get the rest of the video files that I somehow made disappear into the ether. <laughs> All right, so the pancakes are going in. I should probably also mention that it's been several years since I've made pancakes. <laughs> Did I mention that? <laughs> Your pancakes uh, will not be worse than the cake cake pops that I made. I promise you that. Yeah. Well, I'm, now you're inspiring my competitive instincts. <laughs> <laughs> Now I just want to set this pancake on fire. <laughs> uh, so, so while Rebecca sets things on fire, which really would make for awesome ratings, um, it, you know, we set a challenge a while back that if we were able to hit the 15,000 mark by 722, uh, Joe was going to watch Firefly, which really is a way of torturing Joe. And since we hit that goal, we haven't gotten any donations. That's unacceptable. You need a new goal. <laughs> Where are the brown coats? They should be yeah. piling money on this. 
You guys, so, you have so to donate. So our donations have stalled out. Donate um, for, for me because I'm going to feel bad if like this is the worst hour for donations because <laughs> no one knows what's happening. There's puppets, there's pancakes, terrifying. What are you putting in the pancakes? What are you doing? That, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is what's making them planetary system pancakes. <laughs> um, I know... I, I, you should be able to see here. I've I've put a banana slice in the middle to represent a, a sun, and then I've picked up some peanut butter M and M's, <laughs> and uh, I'm arranging them in uh, planet-like ways around the banana sun, <laughs> like so. <laughs> um, there. Perfect. That would be too artful to eat. No. No. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> planet. Oh. Um, yeah, so now you can see it clearly resembles a solar system. <laughs> it is a very colorful right? solar system. It's very right? accurate. I mean, if you were to just tune in right now and you were to look at what's happening in this frying pan, you would immediately say, solar system pancake. Sure. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that! Just shut up, all of you! Oh my god! <laughs> You're not getting any of my delicious pancakes with that attitude. So I don't know, I guess I just wait now and it cooks. You're gonna have to flip that sucker over at some point. <laughs> well, yeah, it still seems pretty mushy though. But if so... you flip it over, it'll destroy the planet. <laughs> That's a good point. I like that. Makes me want to flip it over some more. <laughs> Solar system carnage. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a minute because it's still very mushy. It's a giant pancake. It Did I make it seems a little big, isn't it? It's awesome. <laughs> well, you know, it's a I, I also learned that there's uh, an astronomical term called a super pancake. Are you aware <laughs> of that, astronomers? <laughs> Are you aware of that? <laughs> Did, did I just blow your minds with my astronomical yes. knowledge? Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. Not my qualifying exam. <laughs> was it? No. Oh. And if it was, I, I drank too much afterwards, I wouldn't remember. Understandable. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's, it's got something to do with a large obloid of gas and how it collapses. Oh wait, there was the oh the early models the for solar galaxy nebula formation. Mod. Oh wait, no, 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 no the early models for galaxy form formation. Yes. Um, and they they theorized that there were pancakes of neutral hydrogen in the early universe, and that later became the epic of ionization. Surprise! Oh, I guess you do know something about astronomy almost as much as me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, but I couldn't figure out how to turn that into an actual pancake. <laughs> so I was thinking of like making a pancake that collapses in some way, but um, then I gave up and I bought some M and M's. So here we are. I'm Apollo, and I approve this song. <laughs> right. Let's just run that over and over, over for the next over, twenty minutes. Much. Oh god! Oh, I flipped it. I approve this science. <laughs> okay, happening? so so to put a little focus to the insanity, what got you guys doing puppets and doing puppets with science theme? Uh, well, we um we really we really like puppets and we really like science. It's and all Maria's fault. It, 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 <laughs> That's it, what I said. Everyone blames me for this. Um, yeah, so I, I have been a longtime puppet fan, and, uh, and then I met, uh, Charles, who built puppets here in Atlanta, and, uh, and at the time I was, you know, uh, you know, running the Atlanta Skeptics, and, uh, writing for Skeptic, and very, you know, very interested in skeptical and science-y type things and ways to communicate. It was around the time that Mad Art Lab was still, was just forming, um, and, uh, we decided, I, I kind of pulled... Charles and Steve and a couple of other people in and said, "Hey, let's uh, let's let's try to do some puppet stuff." So, Steve wrote immediately wrote about two hundred scripts. I think is uh, is what he did, and then he means and then, three. 
<laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Well, by now it's three. I think we had 200 in the first week or so, though. No, I mean um, three scripts. <laughs> They're just no. very long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and, uh, and we just kind of started, uh, uh, Charles immediately started building all these incredible puppets, that some of which you have seen. Um, go by, and uh, and we've um, you know we started doing a few different things, and and have I think slowly gotten better and better as we've learned a little bit more about techniques and and you know how to do it, and as our as our shoulders and arms have gotten a little bit stronger, I think we're not Since the complete hacks had a, we were. We yeah, we're not the upper body strength. The puppets. It's uh, it's you have a workout you do. Yeah, it's and called cooking, carrying a, a jar of spaghetti sauce, <laughs> just holding it over my head the entire time. Yeah, it's really, it's really just like any time that you can, if you're watching TV or whatever, hold hold something over your head because it's really all about being able to keep your arm up for extended periods of time, and which is really a skill that is only useful doing. at that time. <laughs> that's the only thing that that's useful for. I just want to point out that the first pancake turned out great. So I'll hold oh, up to the. It. See, that is definitely a planetary system, right? Here's the, here's the sun. Here are that the, sun has some awful big uh, sunspots on it. Yeah, well, it's a very active sun. Uh, <laughs> and this planetary system is delicious. All right. Delicious. I realized, I realized um, earlier as you were talking to the puppets uh, <laughs> that. I don't have any maple syrup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Most depressing thing. So these pancakes um, will not be covered in syrup. But, you know. Do you have honey? I do have honey, actually. That's a good idea. Good no. thinking. No, that's not a good idea. Chocolate you just syrup. the name for me. It's a Zeldovich pancake. <laughs> Send someone out for maple syrup. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Zel Zeldovich yeah. pancake. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There you go. There's your astronomical pancake. Is that, from, real. Is that the same one as in the Yev's Yeldovich effect? It's the same Zeldovich, but different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just making sure it's the same <laughs> I was his dude. Brother. Same <laughs> dude. That and Very I always have for an family. excuse to say Zinyev's Yeldovich. Yeah, you you can do it well. I'm like <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, Kevin Eldridge just awesome. commented, Puppets and pancakes, this is officially awesome. Time to donate. That's our reminder to say this is all a fundraiser uh, for CosmoQuest.org. So go to the website, uh, go to the donate link there. We are raising money to fund awesome people like Joe to continue keeping the science going and the, uh, the education programs and uh, the citizen science and uh, all the uh, communication that we do. And uh, feeding Joe is, is very helpful because without Joe and Corey, we uh, have no website. <laughs> entirely true. Yes. So, uh, yeah, fundraiser, cosmoquest.org slash donate. And if you can't give money, um, you know, share it out to your friends. Find somebody who's wealthy to give us money. That was <laughs> <laughs> and and there's Dr. another puppet Shane. staring at me. That's, a, <laughs> that's an awesome puppet. That's, a, that's Dr. Beautiful. Sham. He's, a, he's in our latest video. Uh, he is our evil mad scientist. Dr. Sham, would you like to say hello? Apparently no. not. No, he does not. <laughs> he, he, he likes to keep an, an air of mystery about him. Um, so is it time the for another... The technical difficulties, I cannot be on screen and talk at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Charles, this... do you, Charles, do you have placebo there as well? Uh, uh, she's in another room. Oh, All right. never mind. Through like three doors, trying to not wake up everybody at the house. <laughs> While you make screaming mad scientist sounds, you don't want to wake up everyone in the house. Well, that's why there's doors. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this what you're experiencing right now is pretty much exactly what happens every time we try to do a shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have gag reels as well? Yes, they do. Yeah. They're they're do. up on YouTube as well. Um. We do, and we have another one that's uh, we have another gag reel coming out just in a day or so, right? Yeah, we should have something new coming out too. So. Yeah, shall I pull up your outtake? We tend to get a lot of outtakes. 
lot. <laughs> and the outtakes of it. And the you can uh, you can definitely pull up our outtakes, but be warned. I think some of them may have some uh, not great language. So I don't know what the PG rating is on this uh, on this uh, thing. Come on. You say, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> you're not bringing it up. Okay. Uh, no, I, I heard the PG rating, and that was me trying to process what words mean. Not PG Holyfield. He's yeah, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I understand. I'm trying. So, so did did you go to the F bomb? Probably. Quite yeah. possibly. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to play the out. That's PG-13, you dummies. Well, no, I, I said I don't know what the rating is. Okay, how about show. I play Star Stuff instead? That's perfectly fine. <laughs> okay. Go with Star Stuff. Nearly all the elements in our bodies were forged within the hearts of stars. We are all, every one of us, made of Star Stuff. But then... So are Labradoodles. So it's really not that big a deal when you think about it. Labradoodles. Made from star stuff. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. No profanity in that unless you have a problem with Labradoodles. Oh, I have a big problem with Labradoodles. <laughs> I, I big have a problem. Sir. Sure. Oh my goodness. It's a crime against nature to combine those two things. <laughs> to have By the way, I've decided that the previous solar systems didn't have enough planets. So, uh, so how many are you going for now? Uh, 27. 20 or so. <laughs> that's a, that's oh, all right. Oh, right? Oh, now we prove this science. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Did you do that to future kids. Thanks. Puppet man. <laughs> <laughs> my second system. Apollo is so much better than mine. <laughs> my second system also turned out very nice, I think. All right. Mm -hmm. Gonna honey these mofos up. You did you get the honey mofos, bear. Right? Excellent. Yes, I did get the honey bear. Uh, yes, because honey is only good when it's squeezed out of the head of a bear. It really is. No, this is what I was about to say. I was just I was at the grocery store, and this was twice as expensive as a giant bottle that was just bottle shapes. But why? Why would you get a bottle that's just bottle shaped when you can have a bottle that's bear shaped? That's my philosophy anyway. <laughs> Thank you everyone. It's good to know. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I think I will convince Kyle to make waffles if I can. Woohoo! But will they be planetary waffles? Probably not. Wah -wah. Why not? You just throw <laughs> a bunch of M&Ms in them. Done. <laughs> Canadian is not a real place. Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> we probably have actual maple syrup. Yes. <laughs> so, so how long have you guys been awake now? Point of where it turns off now. I know. I know. How, what did you say? How long have you been awake? Uh, since 11... Well, we started broadcasting at 11 a.m. yesterday. What time did you get up? Nine. Yeah, me too. So... so not quite 24 hours yet, but we're getting there. I woke up at noon. Shut up. <laughs> we don't like you anymore. We're not feeding you. No, you're not a person. Oh wait. <laughs> and you're going more than twenty-four hours, though, right? Well, yeah, we're gonna 32. go thirty-two. Are you guys planning on sleeping at all? Nope. No. I I took a thirty-minute nap. They sent me to bed. I went face down on the beanbag chair. But then I kept commenting about things, since I really wasn't sleeping. <laughs> there are astronomers. There's a sleepy sleep. snark ball in the corner, basically. <laughs> nice. It's a good thing you didn't start sleeping. I just started, like, shooting rubber bands at you. I wouldn't have noticed. I wouldn't have cared. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we did take a page from the Skeptic's Guide. Uh, we, we heard that you guys started your 24-hour hangout late in the day. Yeah, that was... That was Steve Novella's brilliant <laughs> idea. Uh, we were not happy about it. So, yeah, in the end, we ended up being awake for like 36 hours or so because we were Yeah, so at a normal we started time. our hangout two hours after we got out of bed. Yeah, yeah. See, that is a smarter way to do it, I think. <laughs> uh, you know. 
Wait, hear that, Steve? Wait, what amused me is I invited all the Skeptics Guide cast, and you're the only one who responded to us. And I'm wondering if that was a lesson from the Oh God, Not Again book of things. Yeah, I think they probably have some form of PTSD. And when you emailed them and mentioned 24-hour podcast, they just went into fits and crawled up in the fetal position. But... They're still twitching on the floor somewhere in Connecticut. Yeah. I also occasionally will email in and be like, hey, are you guys going to do that again? And I think every time that happens, Jay, just his head explodes. Like, he can't even do it. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here to represent them because they're wusses. And I'd like to apologize for the naked puppetry that's going on in the corner over there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I'm loving Charles, it. Charles, this is, Charles, this is, did you not hear this is PG-13? <laughs> you can't do that. Family-friendly show. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? We've been asking what that since the top this? of the hour. Oh, Thank I don't you. I know what's happening. Unacceptable. Oh, yes. oh, and now you're Hey, let me, can I, I might as well, can I take this moment to get a few plugs in for the yes. four other people who are awake right now? Uh, <laughs> uh, these guys, um, several of them were and are on Mad Art Lab, so you should check out madartlab.com. That's a skeptic sister site that's all about the intersection of science and art, which Maria mentioned earlier. And while you're at it, check out Skeptic at skeptic.org. Oh, see now this one, this one looks great. See how more planets really helps? That one does look really, really cool. Yeah. You it, created an open star cluster, I think. I want one. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Let's go with that. On purpose. <laughs> Totally on purpose. Told you what she meant all along. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be guys... getting my TV deal at any moment. <laughs> and these guys are Death by Puppets, uh, so search for them on YouTube and, and check out all the amazing videos um, that they have. You have deathbypuppets.com. We're on deathbypuppets.com as well as on Facebook um, and Twitter and all of those places. <laughs> Is there ever actually any death? Uh, we actually do have a death puppet um, who uh, who shows up periodically to kill people. And I sounds fun. Yeah, it's awesome. Actually, our death puppet is super cute. I don't know if Charles is, has him, um, but yeah, we have a we have a bit called Dead Easy, which is uh, one of the I think that's the main one that he's in. Uh, we have another one. We have several. Uh, he's in actually several skits that we've written. Uh, we've only filmed a couple of those, though. Uh, but yeah, we definitely have a death. Who Wasn't was a there a plan to dress up me and, and Liz Gaston as the death puppets? I would still <laughs> like to do that. Okay. I'd still like you to mean you're going to cosplay as puppets? That's what we do. That's our ultimate goal, yes. Death puppet crossplay. I did get to be a, a sock puppet during your panel at Dragon Con. That is true. Year. That was funny. That are, was you guys, fun. are you guys all going to be at Dragon Con this year? We yeah, are. Yeah. All three we're of us actually at this at this futon. <laughs> we're Yay. just going to pick up the futon and drop it in Atlanta and see what happens. Hooray! <laughs> uh, best good. futon ever! <laughs> So, yeah, if you need a, a sock puppet again, that is uh, way too much fun. That's awesome, yeah. No, and there's actually, a, a, it started last year, I think, um, there's a full puppetry track at Dragon Con now. Oh, wow. Um, as well as what's called a puppet slam, which is um, a, like a late night sort of open mic for puppets. Um and uh, and I think we're planning Day on night because it's not for the kiddies. It's yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely <laughs> adult entertainment, um, and I believe we're thinking about uh, participating in that. Isn't that? We're trying to it? limit uh, the number of things that I'm trying to drag you into for that. That is correct. I'm trying to yeah, because see, here's the thing: is I started this thinking that I would just be the coordinator of all of the actually talented people, and then they decided that they wanted me to actually do puppetry, um, which which Sucker. is. <laughs> 
Was it that because you were more talented than they thought, or they were less talented than you thought? I think it was a little Probably from column both. A and a little from column B. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So and and now we and now they've dragged me into actually doing these live puppetry things, which are um, really a ton of fun and absolutely terrifying. Uh, so yeah. So we uh, so you can come see us at Dragon Con late night, hopefully, um, and uh, watch me be really terrified. So which is have, always fun. So which is always fun, but at least I get to be behind a screen, so that's it's not so bad. Oh, uh, that's a di different script for Dragon Con. You'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll be out front. Oh, oh, I don't think that's true. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I've loaded up Dead Easy. If you'd like me to share it out to our crew. Sure. Sure. Where to, lady? What? What's your destination? Where am I? Oh, jeez, not another one. Look, you're dead, right? I'm dead. I gotta take you to your final resting place. So, like I said, where to? Your death. Oh, yeah. What do you think? I go around wearing this robe and slide just fix. I'm dead? Lady, come on. You're killing me. Metaphorically speaking, look, pick an afterlife and let's get going. The meter is running. Okay, let's just assume for the moment that I've somehow died and completely failed to notice it. Are you saying that I get to pick which afterlife I get to go to? That's the deal. But that completely undermines the whole point of the afterlife myth. It's supposed to be either punishment or reward for how you lived your life. I mean... Who the hell would ever choose, well, hell? You'd be surprised. Some folks have weird tastes. Have you seen the internet? Look, just pick something. Anything. Anything? So, if I just make up some tropical paradise afterlife full of cabana boys who live to serve my every desire, you'd, you'd have to take me there? Yes, that's the deal. Why does no one ever mention this when we're alive? Hey, if you knew how this thing worked when you were alive, how careful would you have been? Say, crossing the street? Well, you have a point. See? Okay, so, where to? I got a job to do here, dead places to go, dead people to see. But wait! Oh, man, on! No, 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 look. Why do you do your job? Well, I have to, don't I? If I do a good job when I die, I'll be rewarded. Uh, ah, crap. There you go. You're in the same boat as the rest of us. Huh. Funny how you can see it in other people, but never in yourself. Like spinach in your teeth, you know? Hmm, sure. So, this tropical paradise you mentioned. The one I just made up? Yeah, yeah. Think I could hang out there for a few? Sure. How do we get there? We just, uh, sort of fade out. What, like some cheesy green screen effect? Yeah, exactly like that. Huh, weird. Hey, I don't make the rules, just go with it. <laughs> Good job, you gave death an existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are are working to mix art and critical thinking and science and and you're reaching out to mainstream audiences. Um, what do you have any goals other than giggling and building awesome puppets? Um, you know, <laughs> no, 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 really, no. no. That's not enough. <laughs> I think, yeah, we think that's really a, a goal in and of itself. Um, no, we we obviously try to have a little bit of of a sciency or skeptical bent to what we're doing, but yeah, we we, we kind of want to as our as our primary goal, we, we want to uh, reach a mainstream audience, and we want to be funny, and we want to um, we want to get better and better. Like I'm watching Dead Easy, which is one of our earlier pieces, and just cringing. Um, at a lot of just the technical, I, and I, this happens with everything we do, I think. Yeah. Um, and so we just want to, you know, it, for us it's very much a learning experience because uh, none of us have ever really done anything like this before. So 
Um, we are our goal is to kind of learn how to do some of this, the technical side of it, as well as to just have a lot of fun and um, and exhaust our arms is apparently our, our primary goal. One thing is uh, we just started releasing a, a series uh, about uh, a character called Placebo Smith, and it's basically Placebo is a critical thinker type person, and she's always battling her arch nemesis, Dr. Sham, who's a quack. So we've got that back and forth going there. I think we have three uh, videos in the queue for that, maybe more later. Yeah, and so that'll be that'll be one of our first kind of conti uh, ongoing pieces. So uh, we'll see Placebo and Dr. Sham, and you actually saw Dr. Sham a little earlier. Um, Charles had had him up. He's our mad scientist, um, and uh, and yeah, obviously very you know a, a whole lot of um, of skeptical and and and, and critical thinking uh, in in those pieces. Um, and then we do have a couple that are that are a little bit more kind of skeptic insider baseball. Um, but um, but for the most part, we try to try to appeal to just about anybody off the street. Do you worry yeah. about reaching mainstream audiences when puppets are terrifying monsters that come alive and try to kill you at night? Not really. I mean, I think I think the um, I think the terrifying piece is is part of the appeal, really. Um, I mean, it's not like they're clowns. They're very <laughs> close. I think on on the Spectrum. I'm watching you, Watson. I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I think, like, on the spectrum of things that are supposed to entertain you but actually terrify you, it goes something like, like, clowns, puppets. I disagree. I disagree. Although, and I will say... Lawn darts. <laughs> so what you're saying is we should threaten people with puppets if they don't donate. Yeah, that's I right. Think, yeah, I, I donate, think that's probably your best. Yeah. If you don't donate, death by puppets will come for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like you'll just wake up tomorrow morning and there'll just be a Carl Sagan puppet sitting in a chair staring at you as you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that uh, in, in puppet making, Charles does most of our puppet making, but I've done a little bit and. Uh, and it's interesting as you go around kind of searching for components for your puppets, you tend to start to fall into the doll making category. And at some point you're sitting on the internet going, I have been looking at doll's eyes for 20 minutes and I need to leave this place. I am in a bad, bad place. <laughs> I, think, I think you should... For our science. I think the things we do for science. science. You should just embrace the horrifying nature of what you do and uh, just turn them into, like, you know, like use the actual doll heads that you've cut <laughs> a mouth out of and then, like, yeah, something like you have truly several horrific. zombie puppets. We do. We, have, we do have zombie puppets. We actually have, yeah, we have several zombie puppets. One of our first, um, actually, our, I guess our, our, the, the live thing that we did was actually a live version of um, Jonathan Colton's Rear Your Brains, the song. So uh, we, we needed, what, four zombie puppets for that, and uh, that was a lot of fun. And we were able to recycle those to use in videos as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you made dirty puppets? Are there dirty <laughs> puppets? Like Avenue Q? I, not well. Uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> they but haven't ruled it out. But there's always time. Oh my god. I feel like uh, that's. I, I don't that know. My I, design I, might not be. Oh, okay. My design might not be, but they may get used in, you know, especially the outtakes. Wait, you're saying that the puppets themselves aren't dirty, but that you do dirty things to the puppets? Not to them. <laughs> with with no. them? Right, yeah, no, not not to them, no. Never. No. no. I don't I think it counts as consent if you're the on. one holding his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and now we break Maria. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and this is why Rebecca isn't part of Death by Puppets. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I am insulted that you didn't ask me to be part of Death by Puppets because despite the fact that I find them terrifying, uh, I did work in a store for four years selling puppets. 
Uh, yeah, that, and honestly, them. and honestly, that makes you more qualified than any of us. So <laughs> we were far too intimidated to ask you. Ah, uh, it was my skill as a puppeteer that yeah. <laughs> made yeah, you obviously. overlook me for the job. That's right. That's right. And Charles is naked again. All right. I accept your flattery. <laughs> One of the problems is that all the puppets kind of have to be in one place, and that place is Atlanta. Oh, yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> but you are coming to Dragon Con, right? I am coming to Dragon Con. Hooray! I will be at Dragon Con this year. Mm -hmm. You can uh, sit in on one of the Puppet Slam things, then. Well, you know, i got stuff to do, you guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'll be there. I'll be there. Fine. Clusters to make. <laughs> I'll be there with us. bells on. Uh, yeah, no, I'm... I'm cosplaying this year as Quicksilver. I'm very excited about it. That's why I went for a run earlier, because I'm very committed to my cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been on the email for that as well. That's, uh, and uh, speaking of Dragon Con, we're also going to be throwing our annual um, star party the day before Dragon Con. And this year, all of the proceeds are going to actually go to Cosmo Quest. So, um, uh, we'll have details about that very soon. Uh, keep an eye out. Um, and uh, Pamela and Nicole are going to be there as well as Phil Plate. You know that Phil and, guy. And That's we will be bringing it. Joe, and we will force him to wear a suit. Hooray! What? What? <laughs> <laughs> These people are feeding you. Wear a suit. Co 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 cocktail <laughs> attire is a uh, is what is, kind is, of is suit? attire. Oh, we'll have one you can borrow. <laughs> Why am I wearing a suit? A Superman suit. It's it a is dressy Dragon evening. Con. It is a dress evening. Trying to explain cocktail attire to a bunch of geeks is every year has been every I think, year. Every year. The highlight of your planning for the star I, party. I wear really suits for weddings and funerals. <laughs> well, pretend it's a funeral. Pretend a puppet died. There you go. <laughs> oh, Carl, I'm sorry. I'm Apollo, and I approve this science. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh Pamela, do you have the placebo Smith one there? What the, was the, that, the, Steve? Do you have the uh, placebo Smith video? We can't hear He's you. He's asking about a video. The latest video. Do you have the latest video that we that we got out, which is uh, uh, placebo Smith and the um, something something crystal? <laughs> I should know, I should know the names of my our own videos. I know. But... <laughs> yeah, some, some the I wrote them and warning. I can't remember. We just so. got the five minute warning before the hangout terminates uh, automatically on us. So we're uh, going to. Uh, she's getting that up right now. All right. Four well, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's only three minutes. Yeah. It's short. Oh, okay. Well, I have to download it first. So. Okay, uh, okay, so... I have an astronomy uh, question. Yes. Uh, I ran out of planets, so I'm making a pancake that's all suns. What's that called? Disgusting. That would be called a open cluster. I'm making an open cluster pancake, you guys. Woohoo! You overplaneted the other yeah. ones. I would say that I simply understocked on planets. <laughs> That works. Yeah, the more planets, the better, definitely. Okay, so we, we have, have our last video up while you consider your parting shots. Where's the audio? After a series of adventures too thrilling to describe, our hero, Placebo Smith, finally tracks down her arch nemesis and her arch. Whoa! The Adventures of Placebo Smith, Episode 73. Kingdom of the Crystal Amulets. After a series of adventures too thrilling to describe, our hero, Placebo Smith, finally tracks down her arch nemesis, Dr. Sham, in his evil lair. You'll never get away with this, Dr. Sham. But I already have, Professor Smith. As you can clearly see, I am now in control of the world supply of quartz crystals. <laughs> You monster! Yes, and now I can proceed with phase two of my plan, selling the crystals as magic healing necklaces! Wait, so no Nazi archaeologists? No fire wraiths? No face melting? What? No, nothing like that. I'm just selling them to unsuspecting customers. 
as a sort of complimentary medical device. You know, attach them to cheap chains, package them with booklets that make vague promises of healing powers without making any verifiable medical claims, that sort of thing. But definitely no face melting. What is it with you and the face melting? Seriously, it's like some sort of obsession with you. It's just, well, the necklaces, they don't sound very evil. What? Are you kidding me? You should see the markup on these babies. And I sell your information to telemarketing companies. That's pretty evil. So there, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> I could lodge a complaint with the FDA. Ha! The FDA is powerless against me. As long as I don't make any verifiable medical claims. Then I'll organize your customers against you to demand their money back, forcing you into bankruptcy. You can try, Professor Smith. You can try. But even if you succeed, Sham Crystals LLC will just close up shop. After paying me a healthy bonus, of course. And I'll start up again under a different name. Selling some other piece of quackery. I hear hologram bracelets are popular these days. Face it, Smith. You'll never catch me. I wouldn't be so certain, Dr. Sham. You're bound to slip up sooner or later. Really, Professor Smith? I tire of this witty banter. Look behind you! <gasps> no! Is this the end of Placebo Smith? Has Dr. Sham finally succeeded? And what's the deal with quartz crystals anyway? Find out next time on The Adventures of Placebo Smith! <laughs> There's your skeptical message <laughs> from puppets. Uh, before the hangout dies, what's your, your last bit of messages from uh, Planetary Pancakes? Uh, and from Death by Puppets. Check out Skeptic, skeptic.org. And what is happening? I still don't know. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> if anybody figures out what's happening, please let us know. We are at deathbypuppets.com. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> and Thank donate you guys. to Cosmo Quest. Donate to Cosmo Quest. Thanks for coming or on, the puppets everyone. will come for you. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you in the next segment. We will uh, commence tweeting, Google Plusing, and otherwise sharing the links in all directions. Be prepared to follow the show as it moves. We will read.